Hello and welcome. In this lecture we will discuss on the monitors which is mostly used in operating system to maintain the data structure. Right? Especially in that case when we have certain number of functions, procedures and they are uh, using the shared data structure, shared variables and shared local data structure. So anytime if we have number of functions and all the functions uh, wanted to use share data structure then we have to maintain the monitors so guys you know the concept of class where so many procedures so many class uh, so many functions and procedures are there so as we can declare some variables functions in a single class in the same way we maintain procedures local data uh, conditions variables in monitors so in a language that support monitors a collection of procedure is declared to be in the monitor right? and mutual exclusion is enforced on those procedures only one process can be executing or in the ready queue with its program counter in the monitor code okay so a monitor we can say a monitor is an abstract data type that is a combination of data structures and operations okay the point is to be remember here monitor is an abstract data type that is a combination of data structure and operations so in monitor we have some data structure and we have some operations which perform on the data okay and another point which is very important here that where at most one operation may be executing at one time we cannot apply more than one operations on a single data structure okay if any data which is shared by the uh, programming language we have to take care about the data structure by maintaining the functions call okay so the data structure define can contain type uh, like constants variables and procedures the required mutual exclusion are enforced by the compiler implementing monitors okay actually we want to achieve a mutual exclusion right? so we if we enforce the mutual exclusion compiler have to be maintain the monitors right as you can see the diagram let's discuss on some diagrams in this diagram we maintain some data structures this is the entry of the process we have some process in our queue queue of entering processes this is the way and this is the uh, queue in which the process are enter into the monitors right so maybe there are chances that uh, there are so many processes in a queue which is ready to execute but if process comes into the monitor section there are some local data the first option is local data second is condition variables third one is procedure 1 procedure 2 up to and procedure we can maintain and the last portion is initialization code okay as we initialize the data structure in the class using the constructor in the same way here we are using some insta uh, instantiations uh, calling functions which initialize the code of monitor so before starting the monitors uh, we have to initialize the code right now as you can see the left hand side there are some conditions variable this is conditions variable that means uh, if any process which going to execute in a monitor must set some values by the condition value variable right here uh, condition value is uh, uh, doesn't mean that uh, it is have some value it is just working as a flag okay it is a flag value that will not uh, manipulate uh, uh, periodically but it is uh, set if process enter into the monitor and it will reset if uh, process uh, goes outside to the monitor right so at the time of uh, accessing the uh, procedure or at the time of accessing the local data by the procedure the flag variable must be set right 
in order to set the condition variable we have to call the uh, two functions wait and signal right as we already discussed in the semaphore concept there are also a two function signal and wait signal function is called by the variable or process when any process which have executed in the monitor uh, which have executed in the critical section and interested to go outside the critical section so it gives the backup call to the another process which is waiting for executing the critical section right so this is a backup call and second is wait function wait function is if an uh, if any process which use any procedure in the monitor another process which also interested to execute the procedure one that has to wait for some time so while looking the value of a condition variable or a flag val valuable variable it has to maintain itself in a queue right, that is the main concept of wait and signal so monitor there is again a two functions first is c wait that is condition wait and q uh, sorry signal c signal condition signal so here is a q which uh, manipulate one by one by the calling of uh, c wait function and the call function will be based on the condition variable second one is again condition variable we have n number of conditions right and the last one is c signal this is c signal function and uh, this is the queue in which there are so many uh, function there are so many processes and based on the variable based on the value of variable we enter into the critical section that means in the processor so in a language that supports monitor a collection of processors is declared to be in the monitor and mutual exclusion is enforced on those processors only one process can be executing with its program counter in monitor code okay. so let's have write something monitor is an abstract data type that is a combination of data structures and operations where at most one operation may be executing at one time the data structures define can contains types constants variables and processes the required mutual exclusion are enforced by the compiler implementing monitor right 
now let's talk about some components of monitors in program a monitor is defined as a type in a program it consists of four component first is declaration of shared data second is initialization of shared data third is operations on shared data fourth is synchronization statement these are four component which is defined into the monitor that is major component of the monitor so monitor is defined as a type in a program it consists of four component first it should contain the data which is shared so we should declare the shared data structure first in a monitor second code one is initialization of shared data we cannot only de declare the shared data we should initialize the shared data right operations on shared data we should declare the various operations perform on to the data like right? okay and then fourth is synchronization statement we should maintain some statement which synchronize the shared data and some operations right these are four component a program can create one or more instances of monitor type as we can create number of object in a single class in the same way a program can create one or more instances of a monitor type each instance is a monitor variable when a monitor variable is instantiated the initialization code is executed to initialize its shared data right so we can say any time if monitor gets instantiated that means the shared data structure will be initialized right so data structure should be initialized or equated with the zero this is called the initialization so before using the shared data structure before accessing the shared data structure by the processor we should initialize that data structure first so in order to achieve this task we have to use some functions which uh, uh, perform over the data structure and gets in slice to it right these uh, operations can be invoked by processes using syntax so the question is how we can uh, call the function through the monitor so these operations can be invoked by processes using syntax monitor name followed by dot that is member access operator and operation name that is the way of calling any operations through the monitor type right let's some um, discuss on some characteristics of monitors first is only one process can be active within the monitor at a time because we want to synchronize we want to achieve a synchronization so there is mandatory thing that only one process can be active within the monitor at a time otherwise we cannot get the mutual exclusions in monitor right 
we want to protect our data structure that is why we are doing like that okay the second characteristics is the local data variable are accessible only by the monitors procedures and not by any external procedures there is second conditions that local variables if declared in the into the monitor that has to be accessed by the local procedure it cannot be accessed by the external procedure right okay third characteristic is a process enter the monitor by invoking one of its procedure that means without calling any procedure process cannot enter into the monitors it has to be call a procedure fourth is monitor provide high level of synchronization monitors provide high level of synchronization the synchronization of process is accomplished via two special operations namely wait and signal there is two there are two ma major function which is responsible for maintaining the synchronization of monitor wait function and signal so wait and signal are two functions which are executed within the monitor procedure within the monitors procedures fifth is monitor is an abstract data type for which only one process may be executing a procedure at any given time monitors are a high level data abstraction tool combining three features first is shared data second is operation on data third is synchronization or scheduling six characteristics is a monitor is characterized by a set of programmer defined operators so these are some characteristics of monitor so let's brief what we have right here 
characteristics of monitor that means it defines the characteristic and behavior of monitor if we define or declare any monitors uh, suppose we are a programmer right and we design a monitor for maintaining the data structure and procedures and we actually want to get the mutual exclusion in our programming so we use the monitor concept so what kind of characteristic must have the monitor we should maintain the characteristics how we can protect the, our data structure how we can protect our procedures right and how we protect the confliction of the procedures while they are calling to each other or especially when they are uh, enforcing uh, or calling to a shared data structure right so how we enforce right so first is only one process can be active within the monitor at a one time we should maintain that there is only one process should be active within the monitor at a given time right second the local data variables are accessible only by the monitor's processor and not by an external processor so if you declare a local variable it should access by the monitor's processor means internal processors which already declared into the monitor right external processor cannot get the authorization to access the local variables right third is process enter in the monitors by invoking one of its processor if any process wants to enter into the monitor it should call a function right like wait and signal there are two function it must invoke the function first then it should enter into the monitor section fourth the monitor provide high level of synchronization and the synchronization that means one processor access local data structure at one time so in order to achieve a synchronization we should call a wait function and signal function so there is two function which is responsible for maintaining the synchronization the synchronization of a process is accomplished via two special operations namely wait and signal which are executed within the monitor processor right monitor is an abstract data type abstract data type that means it hidden our data structure and processors it cannot show by the external user right that is why it is abstract data type so with the concept of abstract data type it maintain that process may be executing a processor at any given time monitors are a high level of data abstractions tool combining three features it share data structure it must have shared data structure it can share the data it can perform the operation on data and also as long as synchronization or scheduling may also perform on to the data right and scheduling may also perform on to the operations a monitor is a characterized by a set of programmer defined operators so this is monitor descriptions diagram components and the characteristics of monitor thank you